Hello, investors. It's Don Vandenborg, Senior Portfolio Manager with Revere Asset Management. Today is Friday, December 29th, and I'm coming to you from St. Augustine Beach, Florida with the big show, the Chartapalooza edition of the Revere Market Insight video. Haven't done a Chartapalooza in a while, but we're going to go through 80 charts of leading stocks, including what we own in the portfolio and others that we have on our universe list. A couple of them broke the 21 today. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of flags flying, in other words, flag formations on a bunch of these leading stocks that have run up and consolidated nicely. And consolidations after a run up are supposed to resolve in the direction of the primary trend. So we'll see if that's what we get as we enter January. And that's really going to be the main theme uh, for today's show. So uh, let's get right into it. We're in an uptrend for the last two months. You can see market leaderships flagged with the coveted green arrow over here, as well as all five of the major indexes are trending above their short-term 21-day moving average, medium-term 50-day moving average, and long-term 200-day moving average. This setup gives us the uh, green light to proceed with uh, allocation into the market indexes and as well as leading stocks and leading sectors, and that's what we've been doing over the past two months. So what happened today? First four days of the Santa rally all close positive uh, in the S&P 500. Today, the Grinch kind of tried to show up and steal day five, but bounced well off the bottom by the end of the day despite uh, the red finish. Here are the numbers. The big seven down 0.67% uh, today on average. Our uh, RG8, this is our eight growth ETF composite down 1.25%. Leaders uh, pulled back more than the indexes today. S&P open flat. We traded flat for about the first hour and then had a three waves down sell off and then a nice recovery uh, in the afternoon. Ended up down uh, three tenths of a percent. Equal weight down four tenths. NASDAQ 100 down four tenths. Equal weight down five tenths. Dow just barely negative at 0.5%. Mid caps down nine tenths. Russell 2000 small caps down 1.5%. Global 6040 down 0.21%. In house growth protection. We're leader heavy. Leaders pulled back. We underperformed down 0.76% today. Let's get right into the index charts and then uh, the tail of the tape and then chart of Palooza. And we'll start off here with the S&P 500. Uh, you can see the four days up on the Santa rally, the pullback today. We bounced right where we wanted to, that ultra short term eight day exponential moving average. If you go to the 30 minute chart, we just keep making uh, a continued series of um, higher highs and higher lows, and that is the definition of an uptrend. And until uh, that stops, uh, we will uh, continue on our with our plan to get into the best stocks and the best sectors. Here was the uh, well-received FOMC meeting that kicked off this latest leg of the rally and just making higher highs and higher lows since then. So we're enjoying that. NASDAQ 100, same situation. Undercut and reclaim the eight-day exponential moving average. Uh, so no harm done there. Really no harm done to any of the charts that we have in-house, although we did trim a little bit of NRGU as that uh, had just been lagging relative to the size of the position uh, that we had. Dow Jones Industrial Average, today's leader, just a beautiful rally up uh, along this eight-day exponential moving average for weeks now, two months in fact, since uh, the 11-1 O'Neill follow-through day. Mid-caps pulled back, closed basically right on their eight-day exponential moving average. IWM small caps closing just below the eight-day moving average. So pulling back to this 200 level, which was a pivot, this is actually a pretty good risk reward, and we'll be looking at that uh, to take an index long next week. Uh, pretty good risk reward there, as I said. Let's go to the VIX. VIX was up most of that day, but dropped as we were rallying on the indexes, just closed down 0.16% below the 21 day declining moving average. Uh, the dollar, that is zero USDR. I got to get used to that now. We're not going to show uh, the US, the UUP anymore, but we're going to show the actual index of the dollar, and that's bouncing right above this 100 level, and that is impacting another update in the dollar impacting uh, the gold stocks, gold down just a bit though, 0.16%, and GDX 
Gold stocks down a half a percent, bouncing off the 21 day uh, moving average. Bitcoin and the Bitcoin complex really had a fantastic day yesterday to the upside and a brutal day today to the downside, like Mara down 16%, Riot down 12%. Uh, the one that we own, Coin, down 6.7% uh, and Bitcoin itself only down 1.6%, but a close below the 21 day moving average, but uh, at the bottom of its trading range. Uh, let's flip to bonds now. Bond prices uh, down across the board. Price down means yield up. Just pulled back to the ADMA on the broad bond index and on TLT. Uh, the long bond index right to the 8 EMA, which means, as I said, yields a little bit higher. Here's the TYX, second day up off the bottom, and the 10-year, the TNX, uh, second day up off the bottom, close, closer to the bottom of its range, though. Okay, that's the inner asset correlation. Let's go to the tail of the tape. You can pause this and dive into it. I'll hit the highlights. As I said, Santa Claus rally first down day. Uh, net gain over the five days, a uh, half of a percent. The average is plus 1.33%. So we'll see what the final two days, which are the first two trading days of 2024, uh, bring us. Right now we're looking at a four-day uptrend and then two consolidation days, six days above the eight-day exponential moving average, 40 above the 21-day moving average. Not a whole lot of uh, standout in individual sectors, either to the upside or the downside today, although staples and Healthcare were the only two to finish positive uh, while we pulled back to the downside regional banks, biotech, Bitcoin, cloud software, and semiconductors. Only change to the portfolio was a bit of a trim in our NRGU position, bringing down our exposure to a 1.63. Bottom line, Santa Rally Day 507, first down day to close 2023. Let's get into Chartapalooza now. Everybody likes to look at charts and names, and that's what we're going to do. I've got about 80 names here that we're going to go through, and we're going to sort them on how extended they are against the 21-day uh, moving average. And the preferred pattern that we're going to look for is this. Leaders that made an up move and have now consolidating over the last two to three weeks. And what we're looking for in these fundamentally sound and leading stocks is a break out of this flag to the upside next week. And we're going to start off with nail, something we're looking to get into. This is a, a not a perfect uh, imitation of the flag, but you get the idea of what I'm looking for here. Uh, the move up, that's the flagpole. The consolidation, uh, two to three weeks is the flag itself. And this should, I always say should, there are no absolutes in the market, should resolve to the upside. Uh, how about if we just put this on autoplay here? We'll do one chart every five seconds and just go. Okay, next up, coin, definite leading stock. Um, and the coin, hold on, let's pause this. That didn't work. All right, I'm just going to go through it. I don't know if I can trust this. All right, we'll go to coin here. Coin, very much a leading stock. Uh, pull back today, bounce off the ADMA. No flag there. This is just a straight up uh, move. Again, we're sorting by price against the 21-day moving average. So these stocks are extended. Affirm also, pull back to the 8 EMA. HIBL, this is a three times high beta ETF that I put on my watch list. Somebody pointed this out to me. I wasn't really uh, aware of it or following it, but it certainly is something that we could take advantage of uh, possibly down the road. So nice consolidation there to the ADMA. Uh, pullback, three-day pullback. One of the best oil chart patterns is TDW Tidewater. Arm Holdings break out from its, its cup and handle, hit pivot plus 20% this week, 3% pullback today. URTY, that's another three times uh, the um, small cap index, another one that uh, on the list, and we're considering that next week it trades just the same as TNA. Dave & Buster's riding its 8 EMA higher after a pullback. Kava riding the 8 EMA higher. Stop me if you heard this before. Here's a flag in Sentinel-1, one of the three leading uh, names in the cybersecurity group. AMD, very strong stock, hit that 150 area and pulled back today. Dutch Brothers, little on the thin side, but uh, trying to reclaim, forming a nice base coming up the right side now. AMR, coal stock, pulled back to the 8 EMA. Caterpillar, uh, our industrial stock's going to make a move. 
you know, Ukraine, I've been reading a lot about how much that's going to cost to rebuild when that war ends. Uh, throw in Gaza there too, and uh, Caterpillar equipment will be used for that. That's at the top of a flag or a top of a flat basin is consolidating. BLDR consolidating nicely out of a cup. Square continues to ride higher up the 8 EMA. Uh, Fang Yu, this is the Fang Plus Index, 10% positions in 10. Uh, the big seven plus three other names, Fang Yu to the 8 EMA Micron. Uh, they announced uh, announced uh, an updated guidance last week, and it's been acting great since then. FCX, we own this. Reminder, if there's a red flag over here, we own it. FCX pulled it back and bounced off the 8. Weatherford, another great-looking oil chart pulling back at the top of a cup. Vertex, big move up. Uh, this was on a on the CRISPR drug partnership announcement. That's a flag, what we're looking for, going sideways there. Celsius, trying to uh, put in the right side of a base. Two nice up days. Roblox, riding up, pull back to the 8 EMA. Elf, back to the consolidating at the top of a nice cup base. Uh, stage one base after a... Um, 37% pullback. Elf led for a long time, got sold, but formed a base since then and is now flagging. NXT leading solar stock, pull, five day pullback, but uh, just below the eight EMA and back to the top of the base. ITB, similar to Nail, this is uh, the Home Builders Index. Live Nation, we own this, forming its uh, handle. Scorpio tankers, uh, four-day pullback right to the top of the base on the cup and handle. Half of breakouts will pull back to the pivot. FRSH, software stock, back to the 8 EMA. Abercrombie, great run, now a close below the 8 EMA. Zscaler, the second of the three uh, leaders in cybersecurity, pull back to the 8. Lululemon. Big move up after earnings, going sideways for three weeks since then. Twilio, going sideways for three weeks. Boeing. Uh, going sideways for two and a half weeks. Get the idea of what we're looking for here. IWM pullback just below the eight. G GitLab, we own this. Close below the eight. There's a flag in there too. Carnival Cruise Lines sideways at the top of its base. Shopify riding the eight EMA higher. ARKK undercut the eight today for the first time in uh, quite a while. Nutanix showing relative strength, riding the eight higher. Expedia sideways for a week and a half. NVIDIA can't get through that 500 level, but it really could move if it finally does. Transmedics TMDX hanging around 80. ANET right around the 8 EMA. Ross Stores continues to just uh, trudge its way higher. Pinterest, nice flag there, right to the 8 EMA. Wing Stop going sideways around the 8. Snowflake, we own this. Uh, 200 is uh, acting as resistance there as it consolidates above its pivot. FNGS, this is the equal weight uh, of the uh, FANG Plus index, close below the 8 today. RSP uh, consolidating above the, this big 156 breakout level. Upstart, uh, pull back to the 21 today. CrowdStrike, Really tight action for the last two weeks. 4% uh, position in this. We're looking to double this up first opportunity that we get. Phillips, another good looking oil chart, probably one of the best. Net broke below the eight today, still above the 21. India, uh, leading country sector, uh, continues to act very well. There's the S&P 500, our baseline for everything. NRGU, you can see why we trimmed that today on some weakness. Salesforce. Pull back below the 8, VRT, uh, pull back below the 8, Datadog, pull back below the 8, XPO, below the 8. All these still holding their 21, though. Williams, Sonoma, tight flag for three weeks there. GoDaddy, very tight for three weeks. Uber, really looking to get into this one if we get a, great, a good opportunity, and it's been tight for three weeks. Bellring Brands, tight for three weeks. A lot of similar, I mean, these leaders are pretty much all acting the same. PDD, sideways. Uh, Tesla, we bought this, sitting on the 21. ESTC, sideways for four weeks. GDX, 
pretty volatile two-day pullback after an attempted breakout. SMCI broke below the 21 today. Now, these last couple are probably going to be at or below uh, the 21 path. Uh, still below the 8, but above the 21. Duolingo sitting right below the 21. MDB right on the 21. Dash on the 21. Victoria's Secret on the 21. Gap. Still above the 21 sideways for three weeks. There's that new US dollar ticker, IOT, right above the 21. That's a big flag there. Mercado Libre, a close below the 21 today. Bitcoin, right below the 21, but at the bottom of its range. DraftKings tried to move above the 21, couldn't do it. Broke back below it today. And Symbotic, closed below the 21. And that's our chart of Palooza. Uh, we blew through 82 charts. Those are all leaders. A lot of similar looking uh, charts and really what we're looking for is these indexes continue to work off this extended condition relative to their 50 day moving average S&P 500 uh, today closed at 5.9% uh, so that's the first time it's been under 6% in a while and that's what we want to see correct through time and not through price and with that we are going to wrap up the video the last video for Friday uh, the last video for 2023 uh, you can email me, Don at RevereAsset.com. If you're interested in becoming a client, my partner, Dan Stewart, is Dan at RevereAsset.com. The phone's 855-REAL-WEALTH. That's 855-732-5932. Of course, it's not how much you make in the markets. It's how much of that you can keep. We're looking for these consolidations to resolve to the upside. If they don't, the market will take us out of our positions because we've got our stops in place for everything. Uh, and if that happens, we'll get more defensive. Uh, it's continued to be extended on the indexes, but as I showed, some very nice consolidations on leading charts. And that's going to wrap it for the last day of the trading year, Friday, December 29th. This is Don Vandenborg with Revere Asset. Markets are closed on Monday for the first day of the new year, but we will see you on Tuesday. Thanks for listening. Have a great long weekend.